screencast uh, that I'm going to be doing on the web API and using it with uh, the iOS SDK. And the last, uh, last one I did, one of the things we did is we actually created a uh, simple iPhone application that went out and called Web API and displayed a list and a table here. I've added a couple names here. And I basically, I just showed how you could fill out uh, uh, the table. And it, right now, it's just passing in the ID to the, uh, to the detail view. So what I want to go ahead and do is basically break this down and show you, okay, well, now we have this. How do we make another call out basically to get more information to show more detail into the detail view? So that being said, what I'm going to go ahead and do is show the original code, uh, web API code that I wrote. So I have this method that I'm using basically to populate the table, which we're not passing any parameters in here. It's just passively passing back everything that's, uh, that's in the database. And then I have the second method here, which is actually specifying an ID. And when I specify the ID, it's just going to return back one record. So what I want to go ahead and do is I want to write a, uh, basically some additional code into the detail view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here. And right now when we pass in the detail item, which essentially is the ID, what it's actually doing is it's calling this configure view method. And then what it's doing is it's taking the, uh, the text of this label property and it's displaying the, uh, essentially the number or the ID into that, uh, into that label. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take that uh, label and I'm going to make a uh, additional call. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I need to take a I need to create a string that I can use um, in format with uh, with that value. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a ns string and we'll call this uh, URL str and we're going to use the ns string string with format, which basically just takes in a, uh, a string. I'm going to put in the URL here. But one of the things I've done here is if you can see this, I'm actually putting in a percent sign at sign. And what that does is it creates a placeholder that we can then use to pass in uh, parameters into that string. So now I have that value, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, I'm going to copy the uh, self detail item description. Oops. And we'll close that out. So now we have a string that we can use to, to create a URL. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an NS URL. And I'm going to use a convenience method here. We'll say URL with string. And now we have that string that we just created above. And we don't need that. So now that I have that string, what I, do is I want to do is uh, create a data object that I can use to pull back the, the contents of that, uh, that URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do NS data. And we will say at data. And I'm going to use a uh, convenience method here from the NSURL or NSData. Actually, data with contents. The URL, so we'll pass in that URL. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an NS error object. And we'll need that for this next method. I'm going to use basically, I'm going to use the JSON serializer that we did in the, the previous uh, webcast. Uh, I'll basically take the, the values and pass it into an NS mutable dictionary. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a NS mutable dictionary. And we're going to use the NS JSON serialization class. And we're going to say JSON object with data. 
in this case will be the data that I created above. And it's asking for some options here. So I'm going to just say K nil options here since we don't need to specify anything. And then the last part here is it's looking for a pointer. And we're going to pass in the pointer of that error object I just created before. And that will happen if this error is out for a reason, it'll just pass that error into this, uh, into this reference. There. So now that I have that, I'm basically going to be collecting this data back into this mutable dictionary, but I don't have any way of basically displaying that onto the, onto the detail view because it just pat holds that, that one uh, label right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some labels here using the storyboard. So I come into the storyboard. We'll see here that we have this, uh, this one label already. I'm just going to move that up to the top. And now what I want to do is I'm going to grab some additional labels here. So if you look over here under the uh, objects here, you'll see we have this label object. And I'm just going to drag that up here and see it snaps nicely into place. And I'm going to change that to first name. And I'm going to use the option key basically to make a copy of that. And I'm going to change this one to last name. And let's make another copy. And this one will make age. And this one will make the phone. And one last one here for the city. All right, so now that I have those in place, I want to create some labels for actually displaying the values. So I'm going to drag a new label in here. You see it snaps nicely into place. And I'm going to drag that down here and make a copy. I'll make an additional copy down here, make another copy, and one last copy. And basically, when we get the values back from that dictionary, what I want to be able to do is pass it into these labels here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand these. Now that these expanded, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to use a reference to, uh, to these labels uh, into the code. And there's a couple different ways you can do that in Xcode, but they have a nice way that you can do this now. Where I can actually, oops, I can come in here. Here's our storyboard. And what I want to be able to do now is I want to create references to these items here. So we already have, this is the, the header file right here. And one of the things you can do now in, uh, uh, with the iOS 5 and the storyboards is if I uh, mouse click and control click, I can actually create an outlet here. So I'm going to create a, an outlet here for this label. And I'm going to call this first name. And you'll notice we're using the weak reference here. Click connect. And I'll do the same thing here. Her last name. Do the same thing for the age. Let's make that lowercase. And one for the phone. And one for the city. So one of the things that's nice about this is not only has this created this for the, uh, uh, you know, for the header file here. If I can actually come here and I go to the implementation, we'll see here in the implementation that it's already went ahead and synthesized all those properties right here into the header file, and it even went to and did the uh, on the view did load method, the view did unload method. It went ahead and, and basically nailed out those values. So I'm going to do one last thing here to basically clean it up here. Now we have those labels attached. We don't really need to have anything displayed in there yet. We're going to do that with the code. So go ahead and empty those out. All right. Now we do that. Now we'll go back to the implementation file. 
and now I have this, uh, this dictionary that's come back. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to populate those properties with the values from that dictionary. So the first value here is the first name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so we'll say self, uh, first name, dot text. And now what we want to do is we want to pull the string value out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, uh, the object here for the dict, and I'm going to say object for key. And in this case, it's the first name. So I'm going to say first name. And let's make this a little bit easier to read. There we go. So do one for the last name. for key. In this case, it's going to be the last name. Oops. We'll do one here for the age. This one's going to be a little bit trickier because uh, it's actually passing back a numeric value here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dict object for key. In this case, I'm going to say age, but since this is returning a value, I'm just going to get the description. Now I'll set one for the phone number. And we'll set one here for the city. And uh, since these property values are actually uh, case sensitive in the uh, return back from the JSON, I'm just going to double check because I believe that it, one, either the phone or age is. Uh, Okay, so if I come here, you can see the age is uppercase and phone is lowercase. So I'm going to come back here and make sure the age is uppercase. So I'm going to run this. And voila. It's actually went through and populated. Now I did get something wrong here because it's not passing in the last name. So if I come back here. And the end needs to be uh, uppercase there. Run that again. And voila. It's displaying the, the phone numbers, it's the last name, the phone, and the city. And I'll complete the screencast.